A sense of relief as these evacuees from Haiti arrived in Florida on Wednesday. As violence waged by armed gangs continues to dominate the capital, Port-au-Prince, and send shockwaves across the country. U.S. officials have organized helicopters and flights to bring U.S. nationals to safety. Main roads are closed off and um, sometimes even side roads are closed off because of um, what's going on. Every neighborhood is trying to protect themselves and um, limit circulation, especially from outsiders. So um, the very difficult part was getting around and making it to the airport. The biggest stress about this was that we were dealing with little kids. It was just scary. Many other U.S. citizens in the country are hoping to escape. As of Tuesday, nearly 1,000 Americans in Haiti had reached out to the U.S. government, according to officials. Some have also fled to neighboring Dominican Republic. There's a real sense of terror. Uh, I notice among people, particularly those who obviously have had to flee, you know, again and again and again. There is a, a human suffering of, a, an, of an alarming scale, in fact, uh, a lot of fear, trauma. On the ground, the humanitarian situation is growing increasingly dire. According to the World Food Programme, 1.4 million people are facing emergency levels of hunger. On Thursday, police said that the head of the Delmas 95 gang, known as T. Greg, was killed in a police operation. The UN says political groups are drawing closer to finalising a transitional council to stand in for an absent government, following the resignation of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. One gang leader has vowed retaliation against politicians and their families if they participate in the council.